Louisiana Senator John Kennedy joins me now. Senator, always good to have you with us. Um, what do you think about these boycotts? You know, we've got a list, uh, like as long as my arm, of companies, Delta, Patagonia, Microsoft, De you know, uh, Coca-Cola, all of these companies that are outraged by this Georgia law. Well, let's talk uh, baseball first, Martha. Mm -hmm. um, for, for, forget Mars. We need to search for intelligent life in Major League Baseball commissioner's office. Uh, I, I've never seen anything like this. Y you know, uh, Commissioner Manfred has a fiduciary responsibility to Major League Baseball. His job is to do the very best that he can not to suck. And he has failed that. I, I mean, think what he's done. Major League Baseball is, is losing popularity to uh, football and other sports. His job is to grow it. So what's the first thing he does? He decides to get involved in national politics and to alienate hundreds of millions of Americans uh, who actually like the Georgia bill and think that it is an honest effort for, for uh, uh, election security. And then the commissioner, he hasn't come on your show and spent 30 minutes explaining why he thinks these hundreds of millions of Americans who, who support the Georgia effort are a bunch of racists. He hasn't bothered to explain why he thinks the bill is racist. I mean, I, I, the, only ex, the only excuse I can think is that he made all these decisions after his morning beer. I mean, it just, I've never seen anything like it. It costs 150 bucks to attend a major league baseball game in some cities. Is this going to encourage people to go? I, I don't, I just don't think so. You know, um, yeah, I'd love to have him come on uh, and talk about, you know, where, at what time of day he made the decision, uh, as you point out, and how much he yeah. knew, how much he actually knew about the law or whether it was pressure that was put on him that, that perhaps made him make a decision um, maybe more quickly than, than he would have. I have no idea if he has any regrets about this. It's not apparent at this point. This is from USA Today, a baseball columnist, Bob Nightingale, who says that the MLB pulling all-star game from Georgia is the league's most important move since Jackie Robinson. He says the NFL surely can't give Atlanta another Super Bowl. Same goes for NBA and its all-star game. The NCAA and the Final Four. Maybe Major League Baseball had no choice. You can't support Black Lives Matter, give $10 million to the Players Alliance, and expect that honoring Jackie Robinson every April 15th is enough. What do you say to that, sir? Well, I, I, no disrespect, but that's just a special kind of stupid. This has nothing to do with Jackie Robinson. And it has nothing to do with the race. He, here's what this is about. Um, the Democrats want us to have an election month. We do, the Republicans don't. We want to go back to an election day. The Democrats op oppose requiring an ID before you can vote. Republicans think we should in the interest of ballot security. Democrats want to make legal ballot harvesting. Republicans don't. Ballot harvesting is where you pay somebody to go around and ask people to vote by mail and you collect their ballots and then you bring them to the, to the uh, ballot box. I, I'm not saying it's inherently fraudulent, but fraud can occur. And that's all this dispute is about. The other point I'd make is that the Democrats want to pass Speaker Pelosi's bill, H.R. 1, which would federalize elections. Basically, what Speaker Pelosi's bill would do would take everything that went wrong in the last presidential election and make it the law. Um, none of this is about race. And I, th these, these uh, Bolshevik woke leftists just obsess about race. They think about race, and the fact is most Americans think about character. That's, that's what's so misplaced about all this. But why a, 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 a large company, a, a CEO, or a commissioner of a major sport would want to get involved in this and make conclusory allegations that everybody who disagrees yeah. with, them, with them is a racist 
and not publicly defend their position, um, I, I don't get it. I yeah. just don't. Mark. It doesn't seem it's, like there was uh, a, a long thought process uh, or a long consideration of actually what's in here and the debate that happened before this was elected by these duly elected officials in Georgia, um, by the people of Georgia. So um, we, we're going to watch, see if there's any reconsideration of any of this here. Um, but we thank you very much, Senator. It's always good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, much. Mark. Thank you.